Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, this is Robert from Robert Epic Flights. I'm bringing you another video. This one will be about the Phoenix aircraft and the throttle quadrant. So for those of you who are uh, owning this uh, device, you might be uh, fighting with these uh, settings uh, because let me tell you, it it's just been a bit of a nightmare. Okay, so once you are in controls menu, uh, by default, you will see this settings or presets as we call them, Quadrant Airbus 1 and 2 and Quadrant Airbus 1 and 2 2024. So first thing first, make sure that you have uh, the device selected, which by the way, you should be able to see by looking at the picture, obviously, because if I click on the stick, the stick shows up, but we, are, we want to have uh, this selected. And then what we have to do for Phoenix uh, um, Quadrant working properly is to go to filters and click on assigned. And if you scroll down, you will see these two uh, settings. One is, uh, one is throttle axis 0 to 100% and the other one is right underneath throttle to axis 0 to 100%. We actually want them delete it so once you go to this gear settings button on the right hand side click it once and click on the rubbish bin here and it's gonna prompt you to rename it because we are making changes to default profile so i'm just gonna name it uh, phoenix a3 well Phoenix 2 is fine because I did create it one earlier. So whatever name you want to give it and click OK. And then go back and we still have the second one here. Make sure it's this one, throttle to axis 0 to 100. Also go to the gear button here, click it once and then click on delete and go back. Now we did that part. So next step is to change the filters to none and go to the search bar over here and type throttle and we are looking to two key binds which one of them is throttle ax throttle one axis which is this one here okay and the other one is throttle two axis. We want them to be assigned. So what are we gonna do? We're going here, throttle one axis. You don't have to click to scan it. It's easier to do it the following way. Go to the gear settings button here. And from this menu on the left-hand side, scroll down until you'll see Laxis, joystick Laxis X. Okay, that's to one for throttle one so click on it once it'll activate it okay there will be check mark like this and make sure that your inverted axes are not selected which are it's not selected at this case then go back and the same thing we'll do for throttle two axis which is right here going to the gear here click once then scroll down until I find joystick laxis Y, which is right here. Select it and make sure it's not inverted and go back. And then you can save it. So save and back. And then we're going to go to flight mode. I'm just going to select uh, any airport. Doesn't really matter. Make sure you are on the gate of course i'm just gonna change the settings for something during the daylight okay that should be fine and let's go into simulator all right we are inside the cockpit uh, of the simulator and what are we gonna have to do let's just start the airplane And let's wait for our FMC to load because we're gonna need this over here. So we're going to click on config. 
then we are going to click on controls config right over here and calibrate okay so the movements what we are going to do right now are all going to be on the actual hardware not within the simulator okay so notice how it says set thrust levers to max reverse so do exactly as it says on your actual device uh set it to full reverse okay once you do that you don't have to pay attention to what's happening here at the moment once you do that click on next step then it tells you set thrust lever levers to idle re reverse so move it ever slightly to idle reverse on your actual device and click next step now it says set the levers to idle so do exactly what it tells you on your actual device put it to idle detent and click next step now put your device into climb detent and once you have it done click next step now move it to man, uh, man flex detent on your device and click next step and then move it all the way to toga and click next step and the last uh, thing you have to do just click store calibration okay i'm gonna zoom out a little bit and now i'm going to move with my actual device so i just did and i have it on um, idle zero and then i'm gonna check it if it works fine so i'm gonna move into uh, climb detent perfect man flex perfect toga perfect all the way down to zero idle and then reverse perfect idle reverse and zero so it works so that's the way how you set up the uh, quadrant for, from Trustmaster, and i hope it answered uh, all your questions about this issue or problem whatever you want to call it uh, i still find all the settings in msfs 2024 weird to be honest but at least now it works all right guys thank you for watching i appreciate your support and uh, i'll see you next time bye bye